ATC or its preferred provider may need members to sign a petition or pledge to become a broadband user. Would you be comfortable doing that? A, yes, B, or no? Would you be willing to sign a petition or pledge to become a broadband user? If new broadband was built for all of our members, would you be able, willing to pay $75 a month for service? This is strictly for internet broadband service. Yes is A, B is no. Okay, we're gonna move on to the next question. If new broadband service were to become available to all of our members, would you be willing or able to pay $100 a month for service? A, yes, B, no. Again, this is strictly for the internet, not cable, telephone, and internet. Just simply internet broadband service. What we're gonna do with this information is we're gonna compile it from last night's district meeting tonight and tomorrow night, along with all the paper surveys and we're going to use that information to help us um, determine things along the way. And we're going to share that information as well through our Tennessee Magazine and on our website. These networks are very expensive to build. On uh, an average of $70,000 per mile with that 1,700 miles of line that I mentioned previously, the estimated cost of the entire network could be close to $120 million. Of that, the part that we would use to make our electric system more efficient, the smart grid part, would be, would be about 30% or 36 million of the investment. And then the fiber to the home, the part of the system that would deliver broadband and other services to you would be 70%. We're regulated by TVA. They uh, regulate the use of our revenues. And they require that electric service revenues are only used for electric system purposes. So we could not use your money, the electric revenue that we uh, collect each uh, month from you and from all of our customers to provide cable TV or internet service for you. As it stands today, and I just got recent numbers uh, this afternoon from Scott County Telephone Co-op, only about 50% of the homes passed that their project uh, built by have signed up for services. And for any project that we do, we need the participation rate to be much higher, <coughs> as much as 80% or more. And that participation rate needs to be 80% or more over time. If enough people care about something, anything is possible. And you are those people. We work for you. and. What we're trying to do is start a conversation, look at broadband, what is lacking in the area of service out in your communities in the Holston Electric Cooperative Service Area, and trying to help find a solution that will uh, you know, give you better service, give you better access to broadband. 